Hi, um, my name is Cesar. Um, you can see my advertising all over the hotel. Um, okay. Uh, I'm here to talk about uh, MIP, this uh, a fun uh, wordplay of BIM, um, Men in Black, uh, to talk about uh, what the uh, we are developing in Morph Studio, right? Yes. This is Beam. This is me, right? So uh, the conference is called Red Grand Trail to uh, Morph Innovation in Beam because um, I'm going to talk my uh, experience with innovation as a global matter um, and all our story with BIM that starts in the year 2000. Um, one thing uh, you, you should know about me is what I am and what, what I'm not. I'm not a BIM expert, I'm not a BIM manager. I've been working with BIM since the year 2000, but uh, I'm not a technician. Um, but uh, you have to know some things, uh, another things about me. Uh, I am Spanish. Uh, our Studio is in Spain. Uh, this is relevant because uh, Spain is not a very innovative country, uh, so it's, you have to go against the mainstream to to innovate in Spain. Um, since the school, since the school, um, I am also uh, architect alcoholic. You know, it's the worst branch of workaholic uh, because. If you are a doctor or you are a nurse, you can hide. You, you can hide from your work. You can travel. You can spend your weekend in the beach and or in Rome and forget about your work. But if you are an architect, uh, you, you you have no ways to no no nowhere to hide, right? You are in the beach. Your 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 daughter brings you a cell, and you say, "Okay, I can use this <laughs> for the next project." So. And, and I'm non-conformist. I'm not proud of, the, of this. I think that the merit is, uh, belongs to my parents. Um, and you know, uh, I have been all my life going against the, the mainstream. So this is a, uh, a to understand. This is the contest. We are a Spanish uh, team. Um, for example. In, in the school, you know, where, where I study architecture, uh, professors um, were not very happy if you present the, the plans of your project in, in AutoCAD. It was uh, like a, a bad thing. And I used to present them with renders uh, and even with a video one day. In, in 1994, I, I, I made my first video. So I, I like to try things, I like to to try what's new. I started to use Archicad and we uh, use Archicad in the studio where I was working since the year 2000. This is very weird in, in Spain. And finally, my, my actual uh, work, uh, we, we founded Morph in the year 2014. And uh, now, five years later, we are uh, the largest architecture studio in, in Spain, right? So, uh, we have in, in Morph, uh, we, have, uh, we have another work play, work play uh, that are the Morph laws is, are like the Murphy law, uh, but uh, with the laws that uh, we think that are important in, in the studio in order to establish some pro uh, innovative culture in the studio. So our first law is there are no laws. When, when you start a work, you have to forget whatever you know. Uh, you have to study the place. You have to study uh, the program, the possibilities. This is an example. This is Terrazas del Lago. Uh, it's a, it was a project in front of a park. And we uh, made a huge terraces. When uh, in Spain, we only use this kind of architecture in front of the sea. We have we, we were in front, in front of the biggest park in Madrid, and we figured out this. And now everybody's doing this kind of uh, terraces. 
um, when we finished this this project, it was a pity because everybody started to place canopies. So that lead us to the second law, complicity. You have to, uh, we always say in the studio, you have to listen to the customer, otherwise you will not go in, in the correct direction. So in the next project, in front of the park, we place the, the cannabis in, uh, in, the, in the project. So this is another one. Never settle, we stole this from Apple, uh, this, uh, slogan of Apple. Th this is one customer that was so happy with this project that told us to repeat the project. And we told him, no, we are not going to repeat. We are, evolve, we are going to evolve this, this project. And we made this. So they both, they both are right now uh, close to, to finish. Then, uh, the fourth law is master the ten technique. This is a phrase of Paco de Lucia. It's a, a magnificent guitar player, he says, master the technique in order to uh, forget it. When you forgot the technique, you can start thinking creatively and, and, and just in the, the important matter. Uh, as you can see, we the, this project is developed with the Archicad and Grasshopper, uh, and all the plumbing is made by Revit and MIPI. Um, when you develop uh, a new shape, a uh, different shape that, uh, from the common, you, you have to also think how to fabricate it. Uh, we developed the, the molds of this project because they were in, in Spain there were no industry prepared to develop uh, this, this kind of, of, of molds. But uh, we, we made a 3D model. Um, we uh, Design it with, uh, you see, with grasshopper. We design these strips in order to uh, hide the joints of the panels. Um, and finally, we gave the 3D model to a CNC machine and uh, it fabricates the, the, um, the piece. This is another one. Loose ballast. This is very tough. Uh, if we want to make something new, make something better, we have to lose ballast. We have to uh, stop believing that what we do is uh, correct and uh, start over. If you think, there is a very good example. Um, if you think that your grandmother's recipe for ribs is uh, the top, you will never uh, cook the ribs better than your grandmother. You have to believe that it can be improved. And it's not, not very easy. Ferran Adria, a Spanish uh, chef, says that uh, he was uh, chosen like three times be be best chef in the world. Uh, she always, he, he always said that uh, he had the chance to be the best chef in the world and make the revolution of uh, molecular cuisine because the French and Italian chefs were so uh, respect, uh, respect so much their heritage that uh, they, they were not so in innovative than, uh, than the Spanish. The Spanish don't have uh, a, a very elaborated cuisine, so it was easy to innovate because we don't have these glass uh, roofs that the French and Italian chefs have. Uh, find identity. This is um, this is very important for us. Each of our project of our projects have uh, what we call a DNA. We don't have we, we don't make boxes with surfaces. Um, we we try to interpret uh, the place. We and and then uh, find a law who help us to develop each little element of the. Of the project. For example, this is a hotel in Lanzarote. Lanzarote is a, um, a small city, a volcanic city with a wonderful dark uh, stone. And all the all the coast of Lanzarote is plenty of very big uh, hotels. Uh, and it's a pity because the the isla, island is wonderful. So we decide to hide our hotel to to complete the the landscape with our building.
Uh, the DNA also, uh, we have the, this DNA inside the, the, the buildings. For example, this is a, a reformation of one building, offices building. We decided to connect every, every space to, to make something very open. Uh, this, this one instead is a co-working uh, that reminds uh, a loom of the 19th century. This, is, this law is, is very interesting. Uh, protect the new. The new is very fragile. Uh, always, it's like Dumbo. Uh, when he was born, everybody laughs about Dumbo because it was, it was different. It's the same with the projects. When I start, when, when I did the scratch of, of this, of this uh, building, uh, it was uh, a very, uh, very tough scratch. It w wasn't this was a worse one? Uh, I was very afraid because um, the, the developer can tell you I, I don't like it, and, and I knew I had uh, a good, uh, a good project in my hands. So uh, you you have to be very careful at, at the first moment when you innovate to protect your your work. Otherwise. It's very easy to to remove Dumbo, right? So, six serendipity. Um, uh, it's a funny story. The, the word comes from the one Persian history that the three princes of serendipity. Uh, that was uh, um, a story that tells uh, about one prince that always get out of difficult situations because something that happens surprisingly and uh, with very good luck. Uh, more times that we th think the innovation comes from, from, from serendipity. For example, Pasteur with the penicillin. He left the cheese. And uh, the merit of Pasteur is that he don't threw the, the, the cheese uh, with the bacteria to the garbage. He, he took a look. For uh, through the microscope, and this is very brilliant, right? For example, this this building, we 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 realized that uh, this is in Mijas, in the coast of Spain. We realized that uh, in Mijas, you have the regulation that um, allows you to have uh, a wall of two meters between each uh, house, and we realized that every house has this wall. And we said, why don't we use this hall to design everything in the in the in the building? So we decided to to use it to generate the geometry. And finally, um, uh, extend the uh, limits. Um, right now, uh, we we started developing housing, then another kind of buildings. Now we are developing even marketing for some of our customers and we are engaged in a, in a European uh, research project that is called Beambot with Lourdes, uh, artificial intelligence company. Um, why an architect? Uh, I am an architect, I design buildings every week. Uh, why why are, are we in, in this project? Because it's very exciting and it's challenging and uh, um, and we are creating, this is these this Lego figures, we are creating our own tool uh, of, uh, that combines BIN and artificial intelligence. And, okay, it's, it's a very tough project uh, process because uh, when we started with this project, we realized that we're, we're not uh, prepared to, to, automi uh, to, to automize our, our uh, process. Our f workflow was so dependent of the uh, of the labor of the people that we we couldn't um, for uh, for starting this project we have to uh, give a common language to every data in the in the in the office. Um, the first thing we have the surfaces in Excel, the badges in another software, uh, the 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 beam not connected with the Excel's. Uh, so we started to connect every every data. The first, first thing is to provide this little creature, little intelligent creature, 
of a nervous system of a brain that connects every data in the in the in the studio. So we figure out one codification that uh, gives a unique uh, code to each element of of its project. So you know um, this is really exciting and, and it's a, a, a subject that can, can, can or can, we can be speaking hours. But um, to resume, there are two two kinds of artificial intelligence right now. The one kind um, we can establish a parallelism with the chess chess machines. Okay, the the first one is human intelligence uh, 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 migrated to to the machine. Right, you have your mental minds, your three decisions charts, and you can with algorithms, you can translate it to the to the machine, and you can say to the machine, okay, if if I have one room and one corridor, you please place me a door in the middle of the wall, opening uh, towards uh, the right if we don't have any door there, but if we have a door to the left, and you you can give rules, and and the machine can helps you. To, to do the routinary work in the in the studio. This is almost 90% of the work in the studio, right? So, yes, uh, we, we are working on, on that. And we we have also the other the other one. I, I have another parallelism that is, when, when you design with uh, artificial intelligence, you can play to be a father and give rules and give your knowledge to the machine but you can play to be God, and you, you can give the machine the free will, and, and, and you can apply the machine learning to the machine. The problem of machine learning is that um, it can it ends badly, like in Terminator, right? Uh, the machine can figure out some rules that you, you don't think that are good, uh, but also can extend your limits, the, the machine, with this kind of, of learning. So right now we are applying the, the first one, the translating in algorithms what our rules and apply, applying the machine learning only a, a small pieces of the development. There are also one problem right now to apply the, the machine learning that is that you need a lot of case uh, uh, work cases. You know you have to and and you have to teach the machine to to. Uh, to, to see which, to tell which option is the good, because the machine can give you a lot of inputs, but if the machine doesn't know what, what is good and what is bad, he will not give you a, a, a very interesting uh, result. Um, finally, you, to this little kid, you have to give him a body, uh, the, the brain, the intelligence, and, and the body. So the body, of course, uh, will be related with parametric geometry, uh, connected with your data that allows you to to do whatever models you want. Uh, and, not, and also, this tool is not useful if you don't uh, have uh, a way to, to tell the machine in e every case what is important, the views, the orientation, the Whatever, and gonna, um, this is uh, going to be part of the chart. And I am running out, out of time. This is our slogan. What's next? This is what uh, moves me and what would keep us moving forward in Morpher Studio. Thank you very much. <laughs>